How's it going guys? It's Poetry Soda and welcome back to another episode of the Prussian Pandemonium campaign. Let me go and turn the volume of the game up a little bit. And actually I was going to mess with my settings. Uh, it is a new session here. Um, it's the same day as the, the, the day I started recording. But um, regardless, let's go ahead and uh, remember what was going on. I don't think we had a lot going on right now, right? Um, Lubeck has claimed one of our provinces. We can rent Kiondottieri out to England, Verdun, and Ferrara. Okay. And uh, I think I was going to look at the, the institutions a bit more. I'm really, really, you know, intrigued by this, uh, the, the way this system works. I'm really, really interested to see how it's going to work. And uh, I'm curious to see how quickly it's going to spread to our land. Hmm. It's going to it's going to take quite some time, I think, but um hopefully we'll have enough time before the next tech update. Um Yeah, we can't. All right. Hmm. I'm, I'm having a little bit of snack now, so I apologize for that, but... I I really like the, the expansion so far. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, you're not supposed to do, like, any reviews or anything um, until, like, I think the day it releases, but but I, I think I'm still fine to talk about my thoughts on it, and I, they're positive in general, so... National Tax Modifier... And also that yearly prestige would be decent. No, that's a nice event. That's very timely. What is this? Another cool event. Okay. They tell us about succession in the Crimean Khanate, where among the possible options they went with, we must seek Ottoman protection as their source of action. The new Khan will offer Crimean servitude as a march of the Ottomans. The Ottomans will expect to be granted direct control over... Provinces? What? Aza Theodoro. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, they're saying once they take those provinces from Genoa, then the Ottomans will be given those. Yo, that's a really interesting event. Because the Ottomans totally need to be more overpowered. But that's actually really cool. Like the, like the Ottomans need to be more overpowered. But seriously, you know, that is cool. I like it. I approve of that. Well, what do we got over here? Yeah, just the ideas. Okay, we'll take this one. See no reason not to, really. Mm, oh, yeah, look at all those favors. We'll raise trust a little bit. Mm. Ten years until our truce ends there. Ugh. Oh, hey. Uh, we might want to use some of these points that we have here, huh? They actually are friendly towards us, but I don't think I care. I'm gonna go and fabricate claims all over their land. Okay, and that'll probably be good then. Uh, what else are we gonna do? So we we don't. Bohemia might be a good a good uh, target, honestly. Of course, Poland won't join. Oh, because of the truce. Yeah. Now we probably don't want to do that then. Hmm. Lubeck. No, probably don't want to go over Lubeck. Lunenburg? Genoa and Oldenburg. And Brunswick. Okay. I don't think we want to do that either. I mean, honestly, we don't have a lot of options for expansion right now. Denmark is allied to Poland, so we're probably not going to be able to ally them. And the thing I'm worried about is the fact that at some point here, Poland's going to backstab us. You know, I don't know when exactly, but they will. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you they will backstab us. And it will be brutal. But, yeah, basically, I don't I don't know. Hmm. But I think we're doing fine right now. Um, 
because of the fact that we are waiting for manpower anyway. So I'm really not too worried about this. I think we're going to be all right. I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh. That we... The rumor is spreading that Sweden is preparing to attack Denmark in a war of aggression. The rumor is spreading that Denmark is preparing to attack Novgorod in a war of aggression. This is hilarious, man. I can't believe that you can... That you can find out these wars that are going to happen now. It's really funny. I like it. So because... This is actually really good for us. Because uh, we should... What we should see, and hopefully we'll see here... There's a war between the Danish and the Swedish and the Norwegians, you know? Hey, we got the uh, Reichsreform. That's decent. Okay. Our heir... Our heir is now a scholar. When really Brandenburg, it'll give us technology. He's, that means he's of age, too, which is really good. Okay, so when he comes of age and is our ruler, we'll get tech costs. That's really cool. I really like that. I, I like that a good deal. We could abdicate. That would be interesting. I don't think it's really worth it in this case, but in the future it could be. Our, our current ruler is pretty decent. Um, Bogomilist heretics. Nah, probably not going to fire. Um, so, oh, there they go. Okay, so Sweden has declared that war. I'm curious to see. Poland would not join against us. Gotland is independent. What? <laughs> Gotland is independent, apparently. Um, we could declare this with Saxony on our side. That could be a good idea. Um, we could have Holstein. Well, we'd have Holstein to, like, to fight, you know, but, um... I don't think I want to do that yet, but we might want to do this. Let's see. Denmark has got to be somewhere near the top, right? Denmark has 17,000 troops. I don't want to fight 17,000 troops, plus uh, three or four from Holstein. Um, unless I know I can win. Because that could really screw up our whole country. You know, you don't want to be too cocky early on. One bad war can put you over the edge and uh, destroy your country. Begomalist heretics. Where, where are these? Potsdam and Altmark. Potsdam and Altmark. We should be able to suppress them to the point where they will no longer uh, progress, and that'll be good. Yep. Institutions, can we embrace this yet? Nope. Of course not. Why would we be able to? People are dumb. Okay, so what is... Okay. See, the thing is, the problem is, I think the reason that we are... The reason that it's spreading so slowly is because we have... Well, I don't know. It must be because that we don't have a friendly province nearby. That's probably a big chunk of it, it looks like. Yeah, I think that's it. We just don't have a... Yeah. Yep, that sucks. We, we just don't have it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to wait then. It's gonna be a while until we get that. Hopefully, we won't have to get too much technology um, while we are behind on this, you know? That would suck quite a bit, actually. <clears throat> basically, we're like, right now, we are not a Western nation. We're basically like an Anatolian nation or an Eastern nation. <laughs> Which is kind of interesting. <clears throat> Poland, or no, Austria would join. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Diplomatic annexation costs is whatever, but um, mainly it's just to get that tax modifier, which is pretty meaningful actually early on. And the annexation costs will be good in the long run, it's just not super useful yet. What if we... Brunswick is not really a good target because they're allied to Saxony. Lubeck? I don't know. We don't really have a lot of good targets. That's, <clears throat> that's the problem right now, you know? Hmm. At some point here, we should actually do this. We should try this out. I'm curious to see how it'll work to get a non-accepted to get this as an accepted culture 
I'm curious to see if that will work, how it'll work. I mean, no, I know it will work, but I'm curious to see how it'll work. Okay, so we, we need to... We really need to just get this province accepted, but we don't really have any control over it, so that sucks. We are at peace, though, which does help, uh, which is nice, and that makes sense from a historical standpoint. Um, but I don't know. What are, what are we doing? Poland, you're at war with Sweden and Norway, of course. Oh, you actually made it up there, too. Pomeranian separatists in Stettin, for the most part, is where they're causing trouble. Let's go up there. Okay. So we already have claims on both of these provinces. When are the when are the claims gonna ex <clears throat> expire? Eighty eight. So we got time. Um. Yeah. And I think what we might do is when we go to war with these guys, if we have the room to do so, we might go ahead and take out some land up here. Uh, because this is actually Prussian land in Riga, and we want to, uh, I think we want to get that land, you know, we might as well. This is all Prussian, right? Yeah, okay. Countries wish to hire Condottieri Sweden Livonian order. Okay. An electress of the people. It has become clear to us that Electress Catherine is a woman with a heart of gold. She always does her best to please her husband, Princess Elector Frederick II, and treats her friends with unparalleled kindness. During a recent trip to the Neumark province, uh, Electress Catherine saw the suffering of its poorest peasants with her own eyes ever since she had been drafted plan to help. Okay, so she's charitable. So, until her death, we can actually get national unrest minus one. Un oh, until our king's death. And there's no downside to not taking it. Uh, I'm not gonna take it. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a dick. But no. I don't think we really want to spend our money on that. We don't have a lot of money right now to be spending. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna do that. But that's cool. That's cool that there's an event that has no downside either. Most of the time, they'll be like, they'll smack you on the, on the wrist if you, do, if you don't do something or you do something the way they don't want. <laughs> they being the, the paradox. So, <laughs> I'm just messing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be racist or anything. Um, I don't know. We don't have a lot of rooms to expand. A lot of room to expand. Start doing this. Do we have any force limit? Yeah, okay. This one looks pretty good. Austria declared war on Salzburg. Okay, interesting. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, spend some money on some more boats. That'll be good. I don't know. We, I'm not really seeing any openings right now. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of openings. They actually kept the personal union. They didn't take any land though. Interesting. England is conquering Ireland. Okay. Castile conquered some land from Aragon. Apparently, before that war, uh, before uh, before the uh, the Iberian wedding. Okay. Byzantium is still alive. We can lose nine ducats, it's fine. Kievian Separatists. Lithuanian Cossacks. Wow, Lithuania's having some problems, I see. Huh. And why are you transporting troops to there? Ah, makes sense. Okay, 83. We might honestly have to wait that long until we go to war. I'm not seeing many other options right now. So, unless we can declare on these guys and have Bohemia not join... I don't... Why why are they being defended by Austria and yet no one else is? Oh, are they a free city or whatever? No, they're a duchy? I'm a little confused. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Seems kind of weird. I don't, I don't know. I'm a little confused by that. Maybe I'm missing something. I am historically not the best player at this game. Um, okay, we got this claim on Lundberg now. Let's go ahead and look at Lundberg. If we declared war on you, we'd probably be fighting Brunswick, Genoa, and Oldenburg. And I really don't want to fight all that, but we might have to. Westphalian culture. Um, I don't know. Hey, we got this event again. Um, Are there any other avenues for expansion up here? Any reasons why we need to do this now? 
This one, Verdon could be a good province to take. It's not gonna be. It wouldn't be super hard, I don't think. But I don't know. I don't know if there's really a reason why I should do this right now. Um, we could take this for a lot of extra points, which sucks. So maybe we shouldn't do that. Brunswick has declared a war on Verdon. Okay, well maybe we'll change our our mind in a second based on who starts winning there. Yo, know, when is this gonna be accepted? is really annoying man it's taking quite some time to actually spread to my land i i would rather not spend the points i'd rather wait a while and maybe use my points on other stuff because i don't want to spend so much you know so much stuff here so this province should be getting it soon right how many more months it'll take will 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 it take like a year. Okay, so we'll take a year there. Okay, we'll protect a trade with you guys. There we go. Livonian Order has announced me as their rival. Really? Really? Oh, Denmark is doing that thing they always do where they conquer parts of Russia and it's annoying because the border door. Uh, aggressive expansion impact, we probably would like to do ASAP. And you don't want to get ahead of time or. Uh oh. What is this? Dispositio Achillea. The lands of Brandenburg are now all in the hands of Alberic IV Achilles, but worried minds fear that the march of Brandenburg might be split among an overabundance of sons. It is clear that one strong land such as Saxony or Thuringia have suffered hard from being parceled out to many years. Oh yeah, you know, I think I've seen this event before. An electorate is expected to be indivisible. Interesting. So we can get a... So our, our leader died, if you didn't catch that. Um, so basically, until the... For the whole rest of the game, we can get stability costs and a chance of a new heir up. Or we can get stability and prestige. That seems better. I mean, the stability and prestige would be nice. Uh, and what we do have is not that good, but it is for the rest of the game. Oh, we just got a marriage with with Poland to a 5-5-2. I forgot that, that our first one would be our uh, our heir. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine to have a Polish uh, person. I guess that's fine. I might have preferred a Habsburg, but, you know, that's okay. I didn't realize that's how it worked. It's just your first marriage. Well, I mean, kind of makes sense. Well, I'm glad it wasn't like Cleves then. Um, no offense, Cleves. Still, okay, that was that was interesting. Personally, you know, Marnie Death. Uh, I really don't like that. Maybe we should, like, try to avoid that happening. But, uh, but regardless, that's cool. So now we have... This dude, Prince Elector Albert IV Achilles von Hohenzollern, 243. He's got this tech cost reduction though, which is nice. Our wife is a secretive person, that's good. She's decent, so if we have to use her as a regent, she should be fine. We might want to go ahead and take this cost. Alright, take the, just take the extra hit, you know. We're gonna do that. I don't. I don't care. I, we have to be go. We have to become Protestant. So we're gonna become Protestant. You know. I'm not super worried about it. Reform desires at fifty percent. So it's gonna be a while still. But not that it matters. But. Uh, I'm fine with that. Sell indulgences. <laughs> More reform desire. Just piling on. We got an heir, Heinrich. Okay, the Trade League of Genoa has disbanded. Didn't that include Mister? Bloomberg. Milan. Really, you're allied to Milan. Well, we're going to keep an eye on that. Ooh, Pomerania is getting wrecked. Oh, they're going to be eaten. They're going to be gone, so no real need to worry about that. And we're not going to be able to declare on you. Okay, well, I was looking for options. I don't really see any, unfortunately, but that's okay. Free advisor slot. I think we want to go in this slot again and do morale of armies. That's pretty good. Can't go wrong. Uh, let's improve relations with our allies. Do we have a marriage with you? We do. Okay. Lubeck is going to become powerful, as is almost always the case nowadays, I've noticed. But, I mean, that's not super out of the ordinary. Or not... Super a historical, I guess, because like the Hansa and the Hanseatic League, you know. So when does our truce end with you guys? June of '83. Okay. Well, 
See, I, I'm sorry if you're a little bored by the lack of wars early on, but trust me, later on, we're going to have plenty of wars. It's just early on, you got to be careful. You're, like, tiptoeing around the major powers near you as Brandenburg at the start. So you're going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to apologize, but I don't really have a choice. June of 83, and we're going to be ready to declare right when that truce is up, you best believe. Meanwhile, we should look at this. Do we, do, can we take the institutions yet? I always go to government or whatever. Okay, so, okay, so it's been accepted in Poland now. Um, and so now, nearby friendly province with has renaissance. So we have that now, adjacent province. So what about Berlin? Berlin should be going a bit more. No, we don't have the nearby friendly province there. That's annoying, man. It's just, it's not really... <sighs> that sucks. Well, this, it, it soon we'll have it. It's going to be a while, but not super long, I don't think. We're going to go and take this tech, I think. Um, I think it's better than sitting at max points at some point in time. So... Let's do that, and let's figure out what we want to have for our next day of Europe. That'll burn some time. Um, I'm leaning more towards a military group, but innovative could be fun. Administrative could be fun. Friends in need. The elections, uh, the electress of our illustrious prince elector. Okay, so oh, so our so our wife or our queen sent. Okay, so it's apparently it's a family request from them. That's really, really cool. That's really dynamic. I like that. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. Sure. I right, screw it. Let's explore some of these event trees and uh, and new events and see how it works out for us. I really like this, though. I don't know, man. I really like administrative ideas. You could even maybe go aristocratic. It's what, what is this? Improvements? That's so cool! They took the CK2 route. They've added stuff based on traits. That is so cool that they've added new options based on special traits. That is really, really, really good. It's it's not like anything different, but it's uh it's scaled up, but it is just more of the same, which is still good. Yeah, that's that's still good. That's really cool, actually. I appreciate that. You know take this tech now <clears throat> Pomerania ooh, 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 ooh. <clears> hmm <throat> so Pomerania is gonna die we're gonna eat Pomerania real quick but uh but yeah that's that's really cool I really like that I was I've, I've always wanted them to have more stuff like that um in this game just stuff to kind of mix it up and that definitely mixes up again I click on the wrong thing This will be there any month now, and then soon after we should be able to get ours, hopefully. Yeah, we're going to have provinces all around us. We're going to be one of the last ones, just because of the way that the geography has kind of worked out, which is funny. Um, but I guess it makes sense. Printing press, though, we should be um, much higher up, because we are German in, in Germany. You know, so that'll be good. Either way, I think it is time to end this video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, real quick, let's just go with uh, this one. Thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been a fun series to record so far. I look forward to doing more of it as we wait for the release of the, the expansion. So thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more, and we'll come back in the next episode with some more Prussian pandemonium. So until then, goodbye.